Aries, thank you for tuning into your weekend tarot reading. We will be pulling out a card for overall energy and then going into a little bit more detail as to what is coming up around you in this current time frame. So we'll pull out a card first and foremost and see what energy you're channeling. Aries. Okay, overall energy is the page of one. So I feel like there's um, some sort of curiosity, okay, some sort of anticipation or excitement that's coming your way. Now, it may be something you're feel, feeling internally as that page of one. So I feel like something has your attention and your curiosity. And at this stage, I feel like you're pretty you're pretty um distracted by what this is and i feel like you want to go for it you want to work towards it you might not necessarily have a plan in place but i feel like something is calling you i feel like something something big in love is calling you now for a lot of you it can be like this growing attraction but i feel like it's getting more intense as the days go by it's almost like it's a very fueled energy so I feel like there's some sort of anticipation that's coming your way. Um, it could be around another fire sign here as well, but I also get like a journey. So I feel like there is still a journey you have to take. Okay, there's still something that needs to happen here um, or some sort of action you need to take. It's like you need to take that action to move forward to a particular person or a particular connection. Okay, you've come up as the emperor here. And this is good. This is you being in your power. Okay, so we have Cancer Pisces that has come up here as well. So you may be dealing with one of these signs. A lot of water energy here that I'm seeing around you. So I feel like... Um, Someone's coming up with an emotional energy and you are just sort of curious. You're not you're not at a certain emotional threshold just yet. So I feel like what I'm getting is that you're curious to see where something goes. Okay, someone's got your attention and I feel like with the Emperor, you're sort of pushing, well not pushing them away I should say, but you're sort of keeping your distance and not letting emotions override the relationship too much. It's almost like there's a place I feel like you're fearful of getting attached too much to this person. Or maybe you're scared of, of becoming obsessed, maybe. But I feel like you are trying to control your emotions. Um, there's something coming up about love. Notice how he has the, the wand in front of him. This is, I feel like... This is what you're using as, as a protection thing, like to deflect. I feel like some of you are deflecting or rejecting someone's love, okay? And in their eyes, you're, you're coming across as the emperor, so you're probably the more, the more detached one in this instance, okay? Possibly the one that's trying to rule love out of the equation. Maybe you have an ulterior modem here, uh, motive, not modem, motive. Um, sorry, it's a bit, it's a bit late here, but, um... I feel like it's an ulterior motive and for some reason you don't want love getting in the way. You feel like it could mess things up. Um, so you're keeping a distance. You're keeping your cards close to your chest or you're even trying to like deny the feelings that you have. Like if people are asking you about this person or about this connection, you're not necessarily revealing how you truly feel it's like you're deflecting you've got this wand and you're you want to appear like the emperor you want to appear unaffected unfazed about something that's happening here um i think your person's energy is coming up and i feel like they're going through a roller coaster of emotions but you aries you're different i feel like your fire energy is evident now more than ever sorry you had libra here as well with the justice card he was hiding playing peekaboo um okay you're not ready you're emperor 
But the king is reversed. You're not ready to be king. You're ready to be emperor. Hmm. You're making it difficult for someone to get closer to you, though, Aries, whether you're aware of it or not. I do feel like it's coming from a place of fear or anxiety. You're, you're, you're possibly scared to open up. Um, you're scared to reveal how you truly feel or like reveal the truth around um, around a person or a situation. So, you know, here you are. Here you find yourself in this, in this position here. But, you know, that ace is telling me that this is like, you could be very happy. Aries, I, I, I don't think it's self-sabotage. I just think someone doesn't have the same, you don't have the same love as someone may have for you. I feel with the Ace of uh, Ace of Cups, there's, there's something that's to come off this connection, right? Because it's an Ace, it's a new beginning, it's the hand of God. And if you allow your emotions to be free and to exist in their fullness, you will be able to fall for this person. I see that that's a very likely possibility of you falling and falling quite quickly. And maybe a part of you knows that as well. So you're like, oh, hold up, got to put the brakes on. I'm not doing this again, or I'm not getting hurt, or I just came out of a relationship or a divorce and it didn't go very well. And I don't want to put myself in that position again. You're not ready. And I get it. It's a risk, right? It's a big thing. It could also be your past maybe holding you back as well. I feel like a past person or something that has happened in the past. You know, you want to be fair with the justice card. So I feel like you're trying to be fair to yourself going, okay, well, I'm going to do this in this time period or I'm not going to, you know, you might be setting yourself these little goals, right? Like I'm not going to date till like I'm completely over my ex or uh, I'm going to give myself a break or I'm going to give more attention to X, Y, and Z. And, you know, maybe that is possibly the best thing you can do right now. Um, in your current situation, that's the most liberating feeling because you're in that page of one's energy. So try to take things as they come. But I still feel, Aries, there is someone you're rejecting that could make you very, very happy. But I completely understand if you're not ready in that stage to give love and to receive love, then that completely makes sense. I'll leave it there though. So I do hope that has been helpful. Uh, thank you for tuning in everyone. Uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and also sign up for membership um, to the channel to get access to bonus readings and extended reads. Otherwise, I'm sure I'll catch you all very soon. So uh, lots of love and ciao for now.